What's going on YouTube and what up to the Dragon Squad? I'm Ember the Blaze. And I'm Glacier the Iceborn. And we're Reaction Dragons. And if you like the vibe, like and subscribe. Doesn't cost a dime and helps us go full time. Just do it! Thanks so much for the support guys and the what's on the menu for today, Glacier. We're back at you with another 1899 Reaction Season 1, Episode 2, The Boy. The Boy. And yeah, I mean, the only other question is, who is the boy? Because... We can make a lot of theories. Uh, Glacier was saying last episode that she's thinking that it could be more a son, or the son that she never had, or whatever the case you, whatever the case may be. It could be a younger version of her brother Henry. Um, shit, it could be a younger version of the captain. Who knows? Yep. There's so like, many. When, when and you the, have, throw Jonas in the mix. I put time travel at the front of every theory. It could be the boy is her son, which the one that got on the ship is the younger version of the captain, and the captain's her son, and the son has family kids. Yeah, and then Mora is one of her. Yeah, she's in, that, she's in that family photo. Uh, <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I'm, I'm just getting crazy. Yeah, anybody that hasn't seen Dark, like, what the fuck are you guys smoking? Like, you'll know when you know. You know, what you know. But one thing I will say is, I love the, how the DNA of this show. You can tell it was made by the creators of Dark. Of course, you've already seen Dark. The cinematography, the the music, the the, the song choice at the, with like the last frame of the stranger walking down the hallway and walking into room ten thirteen. Um, so I, I just love how the, their DNA is all over it. So, you know, again, it's already a match yep. in the making. And yeah, I mean, I kind of just want to go in and kind of see where it goes from here. I want to get more layers peeled back with both Moore's character, but also everybody. Like with, with the, the brothers from Spain, the couple from France, the women from Japan, or if, they're, if, they, if she is really Japanese, the geisha, um, with Miss, uh, Mrs. Wilson Hightower, the captain. I mean, I just want to just peel back the layers and just reveal more secrets. That's... That's my main intrigue, and I'm ready to jump in this shit. That's your right? I'm ready. All right, guys, as usual, take a couple seconds, hit the like button down below. The engagement does lead to more views. Again, if you guys want to keep racking the show on YouTube, we want the engagement. 500 likes is the goal, so have at it. Good luck. As usual, you can catch the following to watch along with this much more content on our Patreon. Shout out to our existing patrons. Really appreciate you guys. Shout out to our editor, Max. Without me, so let's fucking go. Damn, shit, quick little flash. Like guess this is El Capitan. Where the fuck are you? <laughs> He's like, I'm on the ship, obviously. You don't notice? You look like you're in the middle of the woods. This is a... Damn, looks... Guessing this is a dream. Otherwise, how the fuck you get from the middle of the ocean to the woods? Yep. Claudia. You're singing them. I wonder if that's his wife singing? Where that envelope was from? Or daughter. Or the daughter. Oh, no. oh no! Is that what happened to him? Damn. Nina. What an imagery. Yeah. And triangle oh, in his oh. eye. Triangle eyes. Yep. Oh, that was amazing. Damn. And he's got the bl the blue yeah. thing. And this is a callback to like how many episodes of Dark like started with Jonas waking up from a dream. <laughs> yeah, looking for his little callbacks, little. Pay homages to one of the greatest shows of all yeah. time. Nope. So if they Back died in a, in a fire... That sucks, bro. Waking up to drinking that shit? How did they end up on the Prometheus? Maybe not all of them were in the house. Yeah, because he had a big family. Remember, there's like yeah. four of them. Four Who's girls. Yeah, because the envelope, the name said it began with an E. It's like E-Y-L-E, like I-L-E or something. Oh, Conor McGregor. We had that here for a few minutes from the Sink ship. Sink ship. Damn. The one we get rid of the Prometheus, like. This is not nicht alles. Is the compass acting up? Ich hab sowas noch nie gesehen. Oh shit. Damn. Usually it happens if there's like a magnetic field or something. Was ist auf der Prometheus passiert? Holy Warum shit. Warum haben sie nur diesen Jungen gefunden? Yeah, the only Damn. one that found no bodies. Like the one little random Whoa. ass, the one little random ass little patch. Yeah, one little patch of gray hair. <laughs> so that even leads me to further believe that, that the Prometheus was in a different dimension. Yeah, something that's going to fucking kind of like wormhole. Yep, did a black hole like in there in that area. Oh, oh, there's there's no on. He's normal. He sleeps. It kind of reminds me of that movie Ghost Ship. That too. I was thinking that last episode. I didn't say anything, but yeah. 
at least when they got to Prometheus, they got those vibes. Touches the wrong thing and fucking Hellraiser comes out. So I'm guessing maybe that is like alien tech. Like from a different planet altogether. Oh, is that our ring? Because the material that that pyramid's made out of it kind of looks like asteroids. Like yeah. carbonite or something. I know you're looking at my shit. Gosh. I'm not creepy at all. What can kill more than a thousand people? What normally kills people? Other people. There's no bodies yeah. there. Or maybe wolves. Or maybe blood. Giant wolf. How many giant <laughs> wolves have you seen in your life? And why did it keep him alive? A giant wolf in yours. Why didn't it kill the boy? Yeah, it's him. Who? The boy. It's crazy that that thousand wonder that's like foreshadowing. No. Like, stop talking about that. Don't say that shit right here. I find out how many in the bunker are there. No word about it. Don't tell anyone. Damn. Don't tell anyone. I just asked you. Damn. Trusting you with secrets. Cool. We still that bang sound that he heard on this ship. And we still got whoever's the fucks in ten thirteen. Yeah. Wait, wait. I was actually right. looking for you. Yeah, did you speak? No. Why did someone lock him in there? We searched the whole ship. There was no one. But they knew sent the signal. And who locked him in? Hmm. Mm. Someone got on the ship. Someone's on the ship now. Did you experience anything? Strange. What do you mean by strange? The beetle. Visions, voices, nightmares. He seems like on edge. Oh, he's definitely on edge. Is he hearing? Oh, he's hearing the music. Yeah. Just like she's hearing the whispers. So yeah. yeah. Do you hear that? Hear what? Damn it. So people from the Prometheus are like trying to communicate with them. Damn. See, that's funny. Like, every time, that's like the moral of the thing. Every time he gets like stuck where he doesn't have a rebuttal, he's like, come yeah. out. <laughs> so I feel like they each have someone that's trying to communicate to them from like the great beyond or wherever. Yeah. Whatever the hell's going on. Oh, Helion. Meanwhile, he looks like Otto Hightower. I was saying, it's good that they have Noah. For all the like, great ones, so right? <laughs> Shit. Let your ånd lyse for us. Og vidne sammen med vår ånd. Du er med os. Der skal intet skade os. What did you do? Yeah, and it's your brother, yeah, your brother. Really priest. I guess is. Uh oh. Oh shit. I'm, uh, I'm okay. really sorry. Is this your cabin? It sounded like someone was whimpering. Damn. Not creepy at all. Well, it's not her brother, or else she would have said something. Daniel Solis. Okay, I'm Daniel. Hitman. His eyes aren't blue, so maybe it's not the boy. I remember he said some shit like that with Dark, like, No, that's just casting. That's their kid. That's the same person. Yeah. <laughs> Look, there's even a picture of a pyramid on the wall. Yep. You start saying some shit. Can you not speak? Sign language? I've like seen some shit. He's like, I'm giving you the answer. That's what happened to the ship. Yeah. Bro, I would throw his ass over the ship. But give me an answer. The rumor spread so fast. Excuse me. <laughs> Maybe that's, that's why he backed up from the Spanish guy. Yeah. He did feel something, but he's part of a church. He's like, oh, that's a sin. Damn. Yeah, but it very well could be. Definitely could be. Why he backed up. Oh, shit. Speaking of which. Damn, but it's going to be, like, extra defensive. It's crazy they don't speak the same language, but, like... Can he understand him though? That's what I'm wondering. He understands body language. That's his sister, right? Cresta. Así que es tu nombre. Vale. Va. Me empate. Me vi. Ya me duele. Me duele. Does she know her about her brother? Who's the guy that lived? Seems like yes. Their brother and sister, right? Yeah. Okay. So maybe she knows though. If yeah. they're close, she, she knows. She said, "You prom don't remember. You promised me something. Maybe it's like that. He wouldn't give in to those urges." Yeah, because she knows that, like, the family wouldn't accept it. Um, fracht genau. Genau wie die Prometheus. 
Mm. Die Kabinen sind nicht voll besetzt. So the company knows what's going on. Die Reederei fährt diese Route ohne Profit zu machen. 45.000 Tonnen Stahl, komplett seetüchtig. Und nur zwei Worte. Ja. Yeah. They want to get rid of the evidence. Just the free on the spot. J'ai vu des photos du Japon. Ça a l'air fascinant. Comment avoir la chance de visiter le Japon un jour? Damn, you're not allowed to talk to him. Now Ling Yi sounds more Chinese. Oh. So she Chinese disguised as Japanese geisha. On pêchait des remarques que votre lune de miel ne semble pas idéale. Je vois pas en quoi c'est votre problème. Que même si vous êtes le genre d'homme qui serait intéressé par certaines. Arrangement. No. She's probably looking for the right price. I can uh, make it happen. With her? No, with the geisha. Même si j'étais désespéré, je serais jamais désespéré à ce point-là. Je ne parle pas de moi. Damn. Je parle de petit oiseau exotique. Yeah. Damn. This insulted her. Well, in that case, when I said I was desperate, I meant. Room number two one oh one. To Lucien who is what his name is said Lucy and two one oh one's the French couples, I think. Yeah, Lucien. That that's the guy we just saw. And he and Jerome. Is it Jerome or Jerome? How do you say his name? Jerome. Okay. And did someone give him that room number? To well, someone again. Like is he working with someone else? Or I don't know if it or their thing? Like some hidden couple. I don't know. We'll see if she freaks out if she sees him. Oh shit. Oh, shit. God. Oh, hopefully you don't have a foot fetish or else your foot's getting grabbed. I mean, it's good that Jerome's under the bed versus, uh, what's his name from House of the Dragons? Yeah, Lars. He's a num nums. <laughs> I love the score in the show. Yeah. Get out, get out, get out, get out. I'll grab one of those bottles on the way out, though. But is that the reason he snuck on the ship, if that's the case? To drop off that metal? Like maybe they went to war together? Possibly. He's not even communicating with her husband. Damn. Damn. So they didn't have to do anything. They just came back. Mmm. And the three. Whoa, God. they're all dead. That is what happened. On some Shutter Island shit. Yeah. Uh, and then drown the kids. Yeah, I set us all on fire. God, so yeah, it was all alone. He's got a gun in there, probably like. But then. Who's got guns the in there, probably to kill himself. Who's like, who's. I mean, can he get his family maybe, back? Maybe it wasn't all of them that were in the house. Like an alternate, alternate dimension, like kind of like where Jonas was trying to find out where one where Martha could live. It's like the same thing here. But if they all died in the fire, he's hearing the singing. Who sent him the letter? Maybe that's why it's fucked with them. Like, wait, my family's dead. Who? How can they send me a letter? Yeah, that's what he From got. That's why he freaked out when he saw that shit on the ship. It's probably one yeah, of the daughters. Yeah, on the ship if they're dead. And you hear the singing still. Oh shit! And you're not yeah. singing them. Damn. Like this sucks. God, I mean, like grudge sounds. <laughs> <laughs> can tell it's like a scary vibe or it's more like just mystery or both I, yes <laughs> excuse me 2103 what, yeah what room 2103 that's right next to the french couple damn oh shit time jump just went into the house so what the really is, is he dreaming what the fuck really happened? It's hallucinating. Yeah, it's probably this house. Yeah, look at the thing on her oh, head. Oh, yeah. That's Nina's headband. How the fuck are we in the Prometheus? They're making little toy ships. The song's fucked up, kind of. I should be locked in the deepest, darkest dungeon. Bro, that's gotta be so haunting. It has to be. But again, it's all about like how crazy the brain is. Du the bist wife. nicht echt. So the wife is having dreams. Damn. Oh, that's, God, that's 
Damn. Sie mag es nicht, wenn du weg bist. Damn. Right. God so awful. there's some like darker force, like shadows that influenced the mom to kill them. Where's real vision at? Oh no! Nein! God. The fuck is he at? Where the fuck is he at now? Follow me. But I think about the story that little, um, the German girl was telling about the ghosts on the ship and shadows and shit hmm. and how the mom had shadows. Yeah, I mean, that's when the nightmares come when you're not here or some shit. Like the oh, it's a hideaway, like a hidden passageway. To which room? Triangle. Oh, of course. <laughs> so where the fuck? This is his room. Oh, it is his room. The secret passageway. Yeah, let it right back to his room through a secret passageway. There's a triangle. That kid gave the triangle. It's gonna click something in his head. What does a triangle mean? That's the, what's a line through it mean too? And he said that being alone like that shows you what kind of a person you are. Yeah, I'm just crying out. Oh shit! That hit him. At least he has emotion. Oh, triangle. Of course. Okay. Oh, the wrist. Now I'm just full on scared of this boy. Damn, grab that wrist hard too. Where's the boy? Be Oh shit. Yeah. What's wrong with that ship? Tell me! Stop it! I need to get out of it! Damn, not so hard body anymore, huh? Got slammed against that wall. But that's the thing, like. I don't know if this is even like linear time because he grabs her wrist in the same place I was injured. Yeah. I heard my daughter's voice. She's dead. You need to calm down. Yeah. You're not thinking straight. You're having visions too, Mora, so come on. Just mysterious looking ass. Looking like Elijah Wood. I was about to say the same fucking thing. <laughs> I don't think you think his ass would look like Elijah Wood. Frodo Baggins ass out of here. <laughs> Ole, I'm free. <laughs> he's probably the one that locked him in like, fuck, he's out. Definitely wasn't on your bed earlier. Mm. Mm. Even she notices. Yeah. Because cool. you just gave me something that was kind of romantic. Je vous ai déjà vu quelque part, non? Je m'appelle Flemis. Real close. Cheryl. Je te voyais. Ooh, she's got a little. He's he'll spin. She's like, oh, I I definitely relate to that. Hey. Oh shit. Oh. Bye. Bye. What's up, bald guy? Uh, uh. Well, he's definitely yeah, he military. Well, ball your asses. Yeah, where'd you get that combat training? Yeah, that's what he was stealing in the first episode. Get his ass. Come on, Jerome. Boom. John Wick their ass. Health bar. Yep, stowaway. Boom. Fuck. So. Gosh damn it. No, Jerome, no! Damn, Jerome, I want more secrets. Well, clearly he's military. The metal and obviously the fighting abilities. It's a present. It means something to me. I need to paint now. I get in some. What does that mean? Is that a hint to how he got the scar? I want to know how I got these scars. Like rich people always want something in return. You should, you of all people should know that. Hey! <laughs> Ooh. You don't know what she said, but you don't you know the energy. Oh my. 
Damn, Damn. like you're not pretending like, you're pretending to be a priest. A priest. Like, I've accepted who I am, so eat me. I love the character dynamics. Yeah. Damn, I want to go back down in this little... Yeah, see if it actually looks like that. Like it was set on fire. Yep, I'm going down here. I want to see what the hell's up. Well, now it looks different. It looks dirty. Yeah, it looks like that. Yeah, it, it looked like, like, like a dirty-ass chimney. Or, yeah, covered in like coal or something. Shit. Damn, he wants to go investigate more. Ich habe gefunden, was Sie wollen wissen. Nur 3000 Tonnen übrig. Captain, wann gehen wir zurück auf Kurs? Captain. So they're trying to figure out if they have enough coal to get to New York. Are they thinking that the company like is sabotaging them, didn't give them enough coal? Oh yeah. To get there. My brother, he's been missing for four months. But I think that oh. he was on the Prometheus. Yeah. Same timeline. I think he sent me this. It was exactly like the sign on your neck. Why do you have that? What happened on the Prometheus? Like, say something, motherfucker. I don't know if he can, if he's bound to something. I just, I'm compelled to just give you the pyramid again every time you ask me something. <laughs> Try to get some sleep. I'll be back soon, I promise. But I'll leave the door locked. Yeah, I don't know. Daniel wants person, to be the person that, yeah, Daniel or he's the like, captain. At least the beetle, like, oh, you know what to do. Or the fucking captain. <laughs> Damn. I was gonna say they don't. I was yeah. gonna say earlier they don't really look related. Damn. 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 I think they are. Yeah, I think so. I think they are a thing. Yeah. Yep. So, yep. That's more like it. Yeah, rip off your clothes. So, yeah, so they're, um... I had a feeling, I was I thought they were lovers when they said brothers. I'm like, they don't look like brothers. But yeah, when they're standing next to each other on the edge of the boat, I was like, they don't really look related, but... So he was jealous. Yeah. Well, made it non-exclusive. Damn! Yeah. Those... Well, that's from your either, hero. Either or... he's de either well, either he's getting like he got tortured, or uh, wolves. Remember they were talking about. Yeah, wolf and the sheep. Yeah. That's why they can't go back either because it's not accepted where they're at, or they did murder. He said he's Portuguese. He's probably from Brazil. Portugal. No, probably Portugal. It's Portugal and Spain. And he says he's a servant or something. He was a servant. He's a servant. Now, what are you up to, you shady motherfucking Elijah Wood looking ass? So maybe he was a servant in um in his house. Like he has, he's probably rich, right? Yeah. He has a mansion. Maybe he was like a butler. With a carpet. Oh shit. No one notices all that. Like, Go on, do your work. Yeah, I feel like the company's in on it. Cause how is it that this ship has the same triangle shit as yeah. Prometheus? You got some of the higher ups. Yeah, the company is some dirty shit. It's going to sink the ship. But um, my guess is the rich guy with the cigarette was probably having a fling with his one of the butlers. Yeah, another one. And they committed a crime and then fled to New York. Or they found him, found out what's going on. It's not allowed. It's taboo. And they murdered. But they were running away like if they did something that's like punishable by like jail time. I'm saying like they probably got caught together or something. And they, and they killed whoever saw him, maybe. Yeah, because they knew there was consequences. Or it was an accidental death. I'm like, yeah, we get the fuck out of here. Yeah. Follow me. I lead you to clues like Blue's Clues. We got to yeah, find Blue's another beetle clue. clue. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we got to find another beetle clue because that's the other clue. He puts his little beetle snake on it. Now what do we do? <laughs> follow me, Ada. Or he's just say basically follow him. I thought it was like a hollow board. Pick this board right here. Nope, you just oh, need to meet this guy. Who is it? It's me, Daniel. Oh no, don't kill you. Why does it sound like he was taking his belt off? He's, gonna, he's probably going to show her the different patterns on it. Bullshit. He's either throwing her overboard or. Worse. Okay. Or hanging her. I've decided to turn the ship around and tow the Prometheus back to Europe. Oh shit, they're not going to like that at all. <laughs> 
Mais hors de question qu'on fasse demi-tour. But you cannot make choices against everyone else's interests. Okay. Like, get the fuck out of here, bro. Bye. I have spoken. All their piss. Like, we paid money for this shit. This is insane. There is something wrong with that ship. And the ship company is trying to hide it. Sink ship. What if the ship company's logo is the triangle? Probably is. That's why this shit's all over the yeah. fucking boat. I think someone wanted me to find that ship. Oh, now they can connect it. Look at her. Oh shit. What Open up. Tell them. have to do with my family? Have you ever lost someone? It's like you're dying with them. Mmm. Yeah, she's like... But I need to find out what happened on that ship. It's just like multiple seasons. We can't go back and I can't go back. Oh shit. Oh. She's running from something too. I'm sorry. But I'm turning the ship around. I love how the music almost sounds distorted. Yeah. So maybe she escaped the psych ward and that's why she's on this ship. Yeah. That's the vibe I'm getting out. Like, we can't go back. Yeah, there's a lot of people escaping from shit. What the fuck are you doing by my door? I think he's wrong. And I don't think he understands the consequences of his decision. You didn't look too keen to go back either. Kindly mind your fucking business. Yeah, until you give me some more... Yeah, I mean, you have, I, mean I don't like you anymore right now. Have you killed the fucking girl? So that shit's called the Kerberos. I'm taking this big ass shit. another ship that's probably gonna burn a lot more coal. Vielleicht sollten wir es einfach machen. Das Schiff versenken. Oh shit. Damn. Vielleicht. Let's see the ship problem solved. Perhaps. Oh, perhaps. That I mean, yes. Damn. I feel like if you go back to that ship to sink it, you're gonna get sunk. Oh no. Is that Ada? Fuck. What was it? I can't it really see. Burnt to a crisp. I think. I don't know. Set her on fire, that's fucked up. God damn, this show's good. No, <laughs> that mom's gonna be pissed. Lost oh. her daughter. My sister. Captain. Ich glaube, sie sollten besser mitkommen. Oh, shit. Oh, cue another music choice. For the end of the episode. Yep. This episode fucking flew by. Oh, yeah. We're already like. Triangle, 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 triangle. Wow. Triangle. Is that coming from the ship? Is that coming from Prometheus? Fuck. Oh. What is the triangle? And why is it on your neck? It's like, you know, this, this show, these shows, dark, they make them, they're like, who, what, when, where, why? Yeah. On them. see. Like, they'll answer one question and give you, like, 20 more questions. Like, we always end our episodes with a montage and a music number. Damn. Oh, shit. He had her photo. Well, he's probably the one sending out the letters because he sent out the letter yeah. to him. But did he take that from her room or did he already have that on him? That bitch about to get stabbed? What was going on? Bro, I love the music. Dead. Damn. That's Strangled. Fuck. Strangled her with the belt, probably. So what are you going to do about it? Oh, shit. I mean, do they have anyone that can actually investigate? If it's, it's foul play, they have and to know. Because if the word gets out that she's dead... They had that kind of technology in 1899? Eat me. Get the entire <laughs> fuck out of here. <laughs> Holy shit, just when I think my brain couldn't melt anymore, the boy glaciers think. Well, more should be like called the girl too, because the girl ended up getting murdered. The yeah. boy's not saying shit. The only thing that I know about him, he's got a triangle tattoo. Well, he's playing the fifth right now. Every time you ask him <laughs> a question, he just puts the pyramid in your hand. But I mean, so this is what I gather from this episode. First and foremost, I believe her name's Ada, so R.I.P. Ada. She was probably one of my favorite like side characters, just because the fact that she was like very smart. I thought she was gonna have a conversation mm -hmm. with the boy, but screw that. And I feel like just starting with like the ending scene. Okay, so clearly there's not technology in 1899 where you can have TV screens on the wall that are shaped like picture frames, like a surveillance room. So I, that's further pushing my theory that there's some kind of time travel involved. But not yeah. even that. It's like out of like there's not even what cameras. It's not even like look where the scenes are when the visions come back. There's like not even cameras rooms. Like I can just see what's going on. Like I'm God. 
Yeah, so I feel like there's some supernatural shit at play. Plus, tech. I mean, I feel there's either some crazy extraterrestrial technology that's from the future, which is one I'm thinking like so has to be time dilation going on here. But also, whose room is? That? I feel like this could be the office of one of the head people that are part of like the main company. Yeah, because the company said sink the ship. Yeah, the company wants to get rid of the evidence. And also, I feel like it didn't give this ship enough coal. For whatever reason, like, I feel like there's a coal shortage to do what they need to do. So I feel like this could be the office of them. And that would explain why there's triangle designs all over the ship. Yeah, like that's the logo. Yeah, I feel like that's the logo of the company. What's the captain going to do? Because think about it, the captain announces that the little girl from the lower class was turned up dead. And now we have to do this whole investigation on it. You're going to have to say something because the, the people in the lower class are like, where's my, where's my, especially the mom that... That's gonna cause this whole investigation. It's gonna cause panic amongst the whole ship, and they're gonna freak out and they'll be like, "No, we're going to New York. We're, they're gonna probably like mutiny against the captain." I feel like yep. that's kind of the work. It's like, "Oh, we're just gonna take over the ship, and we're we're going." We're gonna sink the ship too. They're yeah, already saying sink perhaps. We're gonna because the the co-captain's are already on that shit. No, we're not going back to Europe. Like we're going to New York one way or another. So, yeah. Is he gonna? What's he gonna do with Ada's body? Is he just gonna dispose of it and just say, "Sorry, a missing child's better than a dead child." Yeah. Maybe she's, she's somewhere here. She's somewhere on the ship. We gotta, we gotta stick. Well, it depends on who else is gonna be in on it. How many people? I don't know. Longer they keep continue listening to the captain, like you said before the mutiny, because they're already talking. Even the people that are in the inner circle, of the captain are the ones are saying perhaps. Yeah, because he's not even negotiating. He's like, no, my main, my mind's made up. We're going back to Europe. We're bringing the ship with us. And discussion, I've spoken. So yep. a mutiny, I feel like is, is inevitable at this point. So so much should happen. So we got confirmation on, just from the first opening scene that the captain's whole family. The wife essentially murdered the kids in a house fire, like set them all on fire. Because ever since he left the Prometheus, now he's seeing visions and he hears like the song that Nina's singing. Yeah. I feel like the, the words of that song have meaning too. It talks about like unlocking your mind and being trapped in a dungeon. As far as like, what do we find out? So there's some kind of magnetic field disruptions because the compasses are all going haywire. Yep. So again, again, it makes me feel like there's like some kind of other dimension at hand. The, the stranger's named Daniel Solis. So it's not Henry. Nope. I think the boy's name. Mora, I mean, Mora's kind of said like, oh, I feel like you're familiar. And he was like, no, I'm not. But it's, I don't think it's, it's definitely not Henry. Because she would have been like, oh, Henry, is that you? What's funny, though, is she, um, who also said familiar was um, the French. Yeah, Jerome and, um, and Clemens. They're like, you look familiar. I know you from somewhere. So if I didn't guess, I would say just off of what I've seen so far. So Jerome puts the medal down in Lucien's room. And someone gave him a note. Or like a like a telegram or something with the room number. Yep. So my guess is Lucien and Jerome were in the war together. They were in the war together, maybe, and maybe they were in some kind of a, like maybe in some kind of photograph from some kind of meeting. That's where Clements maybe saw Jerome. That's why she thought he looked familiar. Mm. I don't know. If there's some kind of sexual tension there. And you also find out more about the Spanish, the rich man, and uh, Ramiro. So and again, I didn't say it out loud, but when they're standing next to each other when they're on the, like, the edge of the ship, I was like. They don't really look related. I was thinking, like, maybe he's adopted. <laughs> I don't know. Stepbrother or something? Yeah. And then you, and I think you said in the first episode, maybe, like, they're lovers. And I was like, no, they're brothers. But no, apparently they're lovers. So my guess there is, based on what we gathered, is he has some, he's a rich family. He probably lives in a mansion. Maybe Ramiro was a servant in that mansion. Yeah. And they had a thing going on. And maybe one of the, like, I don't know, someone in the family found out about it. It was frowned right. upon. So maybe they killed that person to hide the secret. And that's why they're escaping to New York. Right. Because it feels like they're escaping like they committed a crime of some sort, like some kind of serious crime. Yep. So yeah, it's clear he's not a priest and they're not brothers. Cien kind of has a thing for the geisha. Her name is Ling Yi, which, I mean, my, uh, my family's half Asian, which is kind of funny. Ling Yi sounds like a Chinese name, even though she's pretending to be a Japanese geisha. But now I'm kind of thinking that maybe Miss um, Wilson is more of like a madam of like a brothel. So it seems like she's like, I can hook you up. Yeah, because the way she was saying, like, oh, you know, he, was the, he thought she was talking about herself. She's like, I'm not talking about me, I'm talking about the, the, my exotic bird. Yep. So I feel like she's like a madam in a brothel, and that's just one of the, one of her new, like, you know, uh, concubines, I guess you would say. The secret pathway, the captain gets led by the beetle after he has his crazy dreams, and it leads him a secret pathway to his own room. Mm -hmm. And I feel like it looked different. I feel like it looked like either covered in, like, charcoal or burnt mm. when he saw it the first time he climbed up and then when he climbed back down to research it was like black tile i don't know if he was hallucinating how it looked before or again there's like some supernatural shit which is changing like miss wilson's dress yep and then other than that like with the shadows i feel like with the mom burnt the kids alive they're talking about shadows and then also ada was talking about with the ghost ship like how like the ghost story of how the prometheus disappeared she talked about there's like evil forces or shadows so i feel like there's whoever's like running this shit i feel like some kind of evil force i don't know if it's supernatural or it's aliens or something but something's mm -hmm. afoot and i feel like with the triangle it's just kind of like their call sign like their sigil 
Yep. And the little boy, they have a tattoo on him. So I don't know if he's like part of, if it's like alien species, I don't know if he's also an alien or if again, he's just like another piece and they brand him with their with their sigil. And yep. He's just another piece on the board to kind of set things Like up. Illuminati shit. Yeah. But yeah, I just want to see the, the aftermath of Ada's dead body. If the captain's going to just hide the body, throw it overboard and just cover it up or deal with the consequences and now they got this other shit they got to deal with instead of like getting back to here. But again, this this show has sucked me in hook, line, and sinker. I'm like fully invested in this shit as I thought I would. This show's already amazing at this point with Final Destination. Yeah, Final Thoughts, another uh, high level episode, but also for a high level show to put me and Ember's brain to the test, see what spaghetti to the wall actually sticks. Some of it actually I said, we, you know, sometimes we figure out shit it's not even spaghetti. We put the pieces together, but we'll see. This show is one of the most challenging. The creators of this show, Coming From Dark, is one of the most challenging shows to keep up with you. Literally have to find out everything, but it's kind of fun. It's like a virtual escape room, yeah. uh, Dragon Certified. Yeah, at least they, they respect the intelligence of the audience. They're not just feeding you shit on a, on a platter. They're rewarding people that can figure it out ahead of time, and then they're rewarding people that haven't figured it out with like shocking plot twists. And I mean, that's just... It's God tier storytelling. What can I say? Other than that, I can't wait to see more. I'm I'm in like Flynn. And I feel like I'm pretty tuned in to the show in general, as far as like being in tune with what's really going on. But I'm also ready to get my mind blown at any point in time. Dragon certified, fucking hit it. There you have it, guys. Another one in the books. The real question is, what did you guys think in there in Jacksonville land? Um, what other symbolism are you guys picking up on as far as, again, the triangle symbolism? What do you guys think? What do you think is behind all of this? Well, how do you explain the end scene with the, with the TV screens that look like picture frames and then a circular motion with the captain in the center? Um, with the boy, what are your theories on the boy? And again, I want theories from people that have not seen the show. And I mean, do you think this show is like one season and done or is this going to be like three seasons? I feel like there's already a plan in motion. There's already a beginning, a middle, and an end. So I don't think it's going to run on longer than it really needs to tell the complete story. Other than that, who's your favorite character so far? Let us know down below. Thanks so much for watching this video, guys. Remember to like, subscribe, and leave a comment down below. And if you like what you see, you can check out more videos right now. But until next time, we'll, we'll see, see you next time. time.